Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon. It looks like DirectX 12 will make the new arrival of AMD and GPU cards work together instead of separately like they could only in the past. Together you'll be able to combine the VRAM from each GPU and you'll be able to use 2 gigabytes of G GPU RAM with another 2 gigabytes of GPU RAM and make that 4 gigabytes of usable VRAM instead of only 2 gigabytes like it was before with the arrival of DirectX 12, the new API. It will also take multiple GPUs and bind them together and treat the entire graphics subsystem as a single more powerful graphics card. Thus, users will get the robustness of running a single GPU but with multiple graphics cards. Such a breakthrough could bring about new levels of convenience for PC enthusiasts and developers alike. For the first time, it will also mean that multiple GPUs can pool their memory. Yeah, I think this will be a really good uh, technology breakthrough because you'll be able to take a 2 gigabyte GPU card that uh, doesn't cost much and combine it with another one and have 4 gigabytes of usable VRAM so you can run multiple monitors more effectively instead of having to buy a card with 4 gigabytes of VRAM that's like $500. You can do this for less than $300 with a lower powered GPU. I mean this is going to be really revolutionary in terms of graphics because you'll be able to take a NVIDIA GPU and an AMD GPU and run them together which uh, is very amazing when you think about it because they're totally different cards. If you can do that with an AMD and NVIDIA GPU then I don't see why you can't take a uh, a GTX 970 and run it with the GTX 980 because they're different but they're similar graphics cards so I don't see why you'll be able to not do that with both uh, a 970 and a 980 which will be really good because you won't be hindered if you buy a 970 say and then you repurchase a you want to buy a 980 you buy a 980 and uh, you won't, you wouldn't be able to do that before and use them together you'd have to be you'd be stuck with just buying another 970 so you you'll allow a lot more freedom when it comes to being able to buy graphics cards which is a very added bonus i would say um, it's a really good thing that they're allowing people to do this with their uh, new uh, api directx12 i think that shows how advanced it is and I mean they could have not done this they could have said went to the graphics card manufacturers and said hey do you want us to do this and they could have been like no because we want people to only be able to buy our cards if they bought one already so that they can use it in Sly so we'll make more money but uh, they didn't do that uh, they actually just allowed you to have more freedom basically and whenever you have more freedom that's a good thing I don't think that's a bad thing so what do you guys think are you guys pumped for this new DirectX 12 what are you guys' opinions of it I'd like to hear it um, are you guys gonna buy two different graphics cards say if you wanted to have CUDA from NVIDIA and use that for video editing and uh, graphics accelerations and programs then you could buy CUDA CUDA cores for your NVIDIA uh, applications and then you could buy an AMD processor for your gaming so you could have two different cards but yet and get two different uses out of them and yet in the same system and be able to run it which would be really neat I think so you could take advantage of OpenCL on the AMD side and you could take advantage of CUDA on NVIDIA's side, which would be a really good thing. But anyways, that's all I've got. Thanks guys for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more tech news and tech reviews. I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.